a common and recurring question is, why should an individual who was not at fault for causing an automobile accident bear any responsibility at all for the accident, at least in terms of payment for any losses through either themselves or their insurance company? Now, there are two primary policy provisions that are implicated here. One is personal injury protection, and the second is comprehensive or collision or what sometimes people call full coverage on the automobile. Now, with personal injury protection, this is a no-fault benefit that creates a fund to pay for medical expenses and lost wages, as indicated, irrespective of fault. Now, it may well be that the injured person is able to recoup those same expenses, lost wages and the payment of medical expenses from the at-fault driver as well. The other coverage that's implicated here is collision or comprehensive coverage. Here, this is a coverage that pays for damage to your vehicle, again, irrespective of fault. Now, it may well be that the insurance company for the other at-fault driver is ultimately responsible for fixing your automobile, but many times there are delays while an investigation occurs, and it just makes sense to have your car repaired through your own insurance so that it is immediately available for your use.